Sarah Pope, the Healthy Home Economist and Weston A. Price Chapter Leader, here with you to demonstrate how to quickly and easily make healthy salad dressings and sauces for your family. Salad dressings have gotten a bad rap in recent years due to confusion about fats, and this has led dietitians and nutritionists to advise against them, suggesting either low-fat dressings or lemon juice as alternatives. The problem is that salads dressed in lemon juice are tasteless and unappetizing. Low-fat commercial dressings are loaded with neurotoxic MSG in the form of hydrolyzed vegetable protein or hidden away under the natural flavors label. Even the regular versions of bottled commercial dressings are made with cheap, low-quality oils that have been made rancid with high-temperature processing. Stabilizers, preservatives, artificial flavors, colors, and belly-bulging corn syrup add further insult to injury. Even organic health food store dressings made with canola oil should be avoided. Canola oil is high in brain-boosting omega-3 fats, but it goes rancid very easily, requiring manufacturers to deodorize the oil to hide the off smell. The deodorizing process forms a dangerous form of trans fat not listed on the label of these supposedly healthy dressings. The solution to many problems with store-bought dressings is to make your own, of course. Excellent dressing takes very little time to make and requires no other equipment than a fork and a bowl. Homemade dressing should include extra virgin olive oil plus raw vinegar or lemon juice in proportions that suit your personal taste. Extra virgin olive oil provides oleic acid, which is a very stable monounsaturated fatty acid with numerous health benefits, including protection from heart disease. Look for olive oil that is cloudy and golden yellow in color, which indicates unfiltered oil that has been pressed from ripe olives. A small amount of expeller pressed flax oil can also be added to provide valuable heart healthy omega-3 fats. It is best to skip the flax oil or substitute walnut oil though if you have thyroid or other hormonal issues, as flax oil can be slightly goitrogenic. Let me show you how easy it is to make a fresh, healthy dressing yourself with quality ingredients. To make a basic salad dressing, dip a fork into a jar of mustard. Scoop out about a teaspoon and place in a small bowl. Add two tablespoons plus one teaspoon raw wine or apple cider vinegar and mix with a fork. Add a half a cup of olive oil in a thin stream stirring constantly with the fork until the oil is emulsified. Add one teaspoon of flax oil and use immediately. An easy variation on this basic dressing is to make a creamy dressing by adding a quarter cup of cultured cream or creme fraiche to three quarters cups of this basic dressing and blend with a fork. Like salad dressings, mayonnaise is a condiment that has a reputation for bulging the backside and contributing to heart disease and many other inflammatory conditions. While this may be true for store-bought mayo, homemade versions impart valuable enzymes and nutrients to your meal. Food needn't be dry and bland. Learning to make your own mayo will add zest to any meal. To make mayo, wash two eggs in warm soapy water, dry, and then crack one egg into a small food processor. Separate the other egg and add the yolk. Add one teaspoon Dijon mustard, one and a half tablespoons lemon juice, and a generous pinch of sea salt. You may also add one tablespoon of homemade whey. This is optional, but add several weeks of refrigerated shelf life to the mayo. To learn how to make liquid whey, see my video on my blog. Pulse the food processor to mix all the ingredients. Next, Add three quarters to one cup of extra virgin olive oil, expeller pressed sesame oil, coconut oil, or ghee, or even a combination of these oils in a thin stream while pulsing the food processor. A delicious variation on the homemade mayo is to add a teaspoon or two of onion powder for a mouth-watering ranch dressing for salads and dips. That's all there is to it.
Ketchup is unquestionably the king of condiments. Americans alone consume over half a billion bottles of ketchup every year. Unfortunately, the main ingredient in grocery store ketchup after tomatoes is inflammation producing high fructose corn syrup, eyed as a key player in the obesity epidemic. Making ketchup yourself is easy and transforms this popular condiment from health villain to a beneficial digestive aid. To make your homemade ketchup, mix three cups tomato paste, preferably organic in glass jars to avoid the chemical BPA, a quarter cup liquid whey, one tablespoon sea salt, a half a cup maple syrup, a quarter teaspoon cayenne pepper, three peeled and crushed cloves of garlic, and a half a cup of fish sauce in a wide mouth mason jar, taking care to leave at least an inch at the top. Additive free fish sauce can be obtained from an Asian supermarket. Mix all these ingredients well, secure the lid, and leave on the counter for two days to ferment and then refrigerate. Homemade ketchup lasts several months in the refrigerator and can then be used to quickly mix up other popular sauces. Most teriyaki sauces from the store are loaded with additives. Make your own healthy alternative quickly and easily by simply mixing one tablespoon of freshly grated ginger, three peeled and mashed garlic cloves, one tablespoon toasted sesame oil, one tablespoon rice vinegar, one tablespoon raw honey, and a half a cup naturally fermented soy sauce. This recipe makes about three quarters of a cup. Barbecue sauce from the store is loaded with MSG. Once you've made your own ketchup and teriyaki sauce though, it is easy to make your own. To make in a snap, mix three quarters cup of homemade ketchup and a three quarter cup of teriyaki sauce. It's that simple. Sweet and sour sauce is just as straightforward. Mix one cup of homemade ketchup, a quarter cup raw apple cider vinegar, and a quarter cup of maple syrup. This sauce is one of my children's favorites. Cocktail sauce is a must with all your delicious homemade seafood dishes. To make it home, mix three quarters of a cup homemade ketchup with a quarter cup of fresh horseradish. Could anything be simpler? Thousand Island dressing is one of the most popular salad dressings available commercially. To make your own delicious version, mix a half a cup of homemade ketchup and a half a cup of homemade mayonnaise. Add a quarter cup of pickled sweet relish, if desired, and serve. I hope this video has motivated you to start making your own dressings and sauces right away. This is one of the easiest changes you can make in your kitchen one that will be certain to improve the digestibility of your meals, make the home-cooked meals you prepare more appealing to your family, and help you avoid the neurotoxic additives and rancid vegetable oils in commercial sauces and dressings. If time is a premium and your food budget generous, you can also mail order quality dressings from small-scale businesses. A list of such small-scale producers can be found in the Weston A. Price Shopping Guide and the Advertising section at the back of Wise Traditions magazine. Until next time, this is Sarah Pope, the Healthy Home Economist and Weston A. Price Chapter Leader, wishing you all the best in the kitchen.